What's up, my children of the corn? It's Andy here with you on a Monday to celebrate a standard week of NHL. No Thanksgiving, no Thursday disruptions where I got to come out and do a video on Saturday to make up for the lost time. It's going to be your run of the mill nine to five clock in at nine you leave at five get yourself a glazed donut and a chocolate glazed donut that's what i used to call a nine to five at dunkin donuts or i guess if you're up there in canada a tim hortons or i guess if you're out there on the west coast oh yes that's right you guys actually eat healthy and don't have random donut stores i know you do relax but the last time i saw you on saturday we gave five picks and we should probably be happy that three of them hit, which means it's a winning night, especially since we had Carolina and the under parlayed together, which was nice. But we're not because the other two picks we had, the Rangers and the Florida Panthers, both had three goal leads at home in the third period. I can't even imagine what the live line was on those two underdogs at that point. But both of them lost those games. So we ended up going three for five instead of the full five for five. And the only saving grace that comes out of that is those two teams are going to inform our picks for this Monday. One thing you could definitely take advantage of on this Monday, one day before Team USA plays on Tuesday. And for you Canadians up there, I'm sorry about what Croatia did to you. I know some of you asked me why I support Croatia. I am of Croatian heritage and have family there. And I've always had an affinity for the Croatian national soccer team. Yes, I am rooting for the U.S., but I also have big rooting interests in Croatia. If you have rooting interests in the U.S., you bet $10 on BetMGM by the money line. If either team scores a goal in that game or any other game in the World Cup, BetMGM will credit you with $200 in free bet credits and add it to your account if any team scores a goal. It doesn't get much easier than that. I told you they should be calling this the, oh, this is just a free $200 promotion from BetMGM. So just... Check the specifics of it in the description of this video, and then it will provide the link that will take you there. Now, I just told you that Saturday's picks will inform our Monday picks. Why is that? Because we had the Florida Panthers, who blew a three-goal lead at home in the third period, now traveling away. Where are they going? To Edmonton, who just came back from a 0-3 deficit on the road and scored four straight. So you got a team who came back from 3-0 going home, facing a team who blew a 3-0 and went on the road. I have to take the Edmonton Oilers in this one. Edmonton, they played awful against the Islanders. They played awful in two out of three periods. And then part of the reason I said they're so inconsistent and hard to predict, they have these random outbursts of offense from their stars. And that's what you get. Drysaddle scored the game-winning goal and then proceeded to, in an entertaining fashion, smack the stick out of Jacob Truba's hands, the captain of the New York Rangers. As an Islander fan, I'll obviously appreciate that. Take it easy, Ranger fans. Don't think I have a bias against you. And if you don't believe so, just wait a few minutes. But I'm going to take the Edmonton Oilers to beat the Florida Panthers up there in Edmonton to start a little streak for Edmonton after their semi-stretch of poor play. Then, Ranger fans, I told you to relax for a second. And Devils fans, I want you to relax too. Oh yeah, but you're probably not watching these videos because there's only a handful of you out there. But the Devils, I just took them in the last game. I don't know why Washington got semi-respect. I, 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 I'm going to keep betting against them as long as this league still thinks that they're a relatively competitive team. But we took the Devils in the last game. They won in comfortable fashion. You never really even had to worry about this one. But the reason I'm going to take the Rangers in this one, the environment in Madison Square Garden, I would definitely not if it was in New Jersey, but the environment in Madison Square Garden when uh, the Rangers play the Islanders or the Rangers play the Devils, it's that, I don't want to say intrastate, but that intra-tri-state area vibes where it's almost playoff level intensity. Then when you couple that with the fact that I'm telling you, the Devils are going to start taking teams best shot night in, night out, and I just truly don't believe that a team this young is able to deal with that for the course of huge stretches. It's tough to bet against a team who's lost like once in 14 or 15 games, but I will tell you, at least it was the game that I told you uh, to, to bet against them. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to take the New York Rangers to beat the Devils. You know what I like is a little wink to me, by the way. It's even money. It's it's basically 110 on both sides, which makes me think everyone's going to see a team who won 13, 14 out of 15, 
and be like, oh, you have to take the Devils here. Rangers just blew a three-goal lead in the third period. Devils almost never lose. They lost one game that they probably should have won with three disallowed goals to Toronto. Oh, I got to take New Jersey. No, not me. I'm taking the Rangers. And once again, you should never, ever, 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 ever accuse me of having bias because I'm taking my crosstown rival who I'm supposed to hate no matter what. Blah, 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 blah. I never cared about that. Henrik Lundqvist is probably my favorite goalie I've ever watched of all time. I think he's been the best. So you can put those to bed. All those people who still think I had a Rangers bias against Ryan Strom and not a, oh, that's just an awful player bias. So give me the Rangers against the New Jersey Devils. There was a bet that I saw last night. Unfortunately, you know, I was able to get just a little trickle on it. And that was between the Blues and the Stars. I saw they had it at six and a half. In my mind, I know that the Blues have been getting in these semi shootouts lately in terms of the goal scored buffalo we saw the comeback last game but i absolutely would have taken the under six and a half in this one just because you know it's almost like a combination of and you know how styles make fights in boxing styles make unders in hockey invented saying just did it right there i would have taken the under six and a half but i also believe this is a great spot to take the blues we predicted their two losses in a row Although they screwed us in that third period, but I don't blame that on them. I blame that on Florida for not being able to close out a game. They looked like the Florida of last year, scoring goals left and right early, blew a lead. Oh my God. But the Blues have mostly done right by us. We took them on that big winning streak. Then we predicted their loss against Buffalo, bet against them in the Lightning, and then we're gonna we we're almost right against them about Florida. But now when you come back in something like that and then are going home. I like them to beat Dallas, who had that kind of fake overtime win against Winnipeg, then lost handily to Colorado, which was another one of our selections on Saturday night. I'm going to take them to lose again. Give me the St. Louis Blues to beat the Dallas Stars. They're actually home underdogs the last time I checked in this one. So you give me the Blues in that one. Then I got a couple of player props for you. Riley Smith and Vegas. They have a shot total, two and a half. I think he's hit that six straight games. You obviously have Vegas, who's a great offensive team, against one of the most injury-depleted, awful teams I've ever seen, and that's the Columbus Blue Jackets. They have such a hard time in these games. I mean, they lost to the Islanders the other night, and they were gifted a five-on-three to even keep them in that game. This is a game that Vegas should. You never know. Teams can get lazy when they play poor teams. You see that a lot. But Riley Smith is, has always been a shoot first guy, always. And he's hit over two and a half in over six games, I believe. You can double check me on that. But I, I like taking Riley Smith over two and a half shots. When you see the price that they put on some of these shot totals, usually it's like, oh my God, I got to pay, pay minus 165 for that. Now this is relatively inexpensive. So I'm going to take the over on shots for Riley Smith. And then going back to that Ranger game, Adam Fox, he has points in either eight of nine, nine or 10, 10 of 11, he had a huge point streak, then he didn't register a point two games ago, and then registered a point in the last game. It was a great pass to uh, Lafreniere in the opening couple of minutes. So I'm gonna go right back to that. He's been clearly playing well and accumulating points. He's only missed one in the last 10 games or so. So I'm gonna take the over on points for Adam Fox. So those are the picks that I got for you on this Monday. Hope you guys were able to enjoy some of my NFL sniffs from yesterday. We had a pretty good day when you look at the stayaways and the red flags and the Raiders and all these bets that I put out there. It was definitely more winners than losers, so hopefully you guys benefited from some of those. I will be back with you tomorrow to talk more selections. As always, do me a favor. You subscribe to the Odd Shopper channel. You come find me on Instagram. You, you follow me there. And I just put out a new podcast today. You can see it. I, I uploaded it to my Instagram story. So if you like tomfoolery, you like when I joke about random things, I talk about me being sick last week and then being scared to go buy medication at the store because a guy who has messed up eyes purchasing eye medication is like an embarrassing thing. So I got a bunch of other items to make them think I wasn't the one that was sick. And I talk about ridiculous things like that. So if you want to enjoy that, you can find it on my uh, Instagram story. I'll put it on Twitter too. It's the You're Still Here podcast, but you're still here. Hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow for a, usually a big slate, right? Take it easy.